Greetings to all of my friends around the world. It's great to be able to come to you and share the good news of the gospel today. I appreciate so much you tuning in. I love you very much. For all of you that are listening today, I appreciate your love and concern, all your likes and comments. Please subscribe if you're on YouTube. I appreciate that very much. And I thank you for all your support. I want to talk to you about some of the signs. Some of the signs the tribulation is near. I'm going to be reading some things in Matthew 24. I want to say, first of all, I believe one of the first things that we need to talk about is found in Matthew 24 and 5. False prophets will come. Many will say, I'm the Christ, and will deceive many. And you know, we're hearing that today, that many says, I'm Christ, and I'm the Lord. Don't believe it. Many people can be deceived by turning to things that are not there. And then, then number two, there will be wars and rumors of wars. We hear that uh, constantly. There's strife going on everywhere in America. There's always concerns about Iran and uh, Russia and all the other people across the country. And Israel is having problems in different places. And it says in Matthew 26, or 24, 6, and 7, that there will be wars and rumors of wars in the last days before Jesus comes. And then there's number three, and that's devastation, and that's famine. That's going to be uh, Matthew 24 and 7. It's going to talk about famines in different parts of the country. And we, we understand, you know, a lot of places, you know, are having a lot of uh, things going on. You know, fires raised in California. There's just been a lot of things happen, a, a devastation of all kinds going on. That's one of the signs of the last days, I believe, with all my heart. Number four is disease and earthquakes. And, of course, you and I know what it's like when we're talking about disease. We've gone through this pandemic, and we're still going through it. Disease is one of the signs in Matthew 24 and 7. And earthquakes is another sign there that Jesus is getting ready to come when they become widespread all across everything. You know, this disease and everything has really taken control. It's almost shut America down in a lot of ways. And all across the world, there's a lot of devastation. They've had problems for years. But Finns is coming to a highlight right now. Jesus is getting ready to come. And then there's number five, and that's death. You know, many people are being killed for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I saw in horror as I looked around the world here in the last uh, year or so of people who have been beheaded because they took the name of Jesus. I want to tell you the Bible says that Christians will be persecuted in the last days. Uh, hold on to God's unchanging hymn. Don't allow yourself to be swayed by this world's condition and don't let, let it swallow you up in what's going on today. And number six is when iniquity abound, the love of many will wax cold. If there's ever a time where iniquity is abounding, it's now in the days we live. And the love of really many people that used to be close is wax cold. Families are not as close as they used to be. That's kind of a sad thing, but some families still are holding on tradition and loving one another. But friends, a family, an attack on the family is another sign of the last days. Uh, and we're sure living in that time. And then the last one I want to mention, and because iniquity abound, the love of many shall wax cold, Matthew 24, 11 and 12. Because it's so bounding everywhere, the wax, everybody's going to be waxed cold toward one another. And it's a great separation of the body of Christ and believers in Christ. Uh, and then the last thing that I want you to, to listen to is uh, number seven. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. And the end shall come. Folks, if there's ever a time now where the gospel is being preached all over the world, it's nowadays. I've preached overseas. I've preached in many places across the world. Folks, I want to tell you what. God is getting ready to come, and the message is going out to all people everywhere. I don't know just how far it's penetrated. I know it's went to far corners of many places. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. That's the last sign. And, and then the end shall come. Are you ready to meet Jesus today? That's a big question. Are you ready to get ready? 
for because the Christians are getting ready to leave this place. Uh, we're going to leave this place real soon. And I trust that you're ready to go today. If you're not, it's time to get your heart right. And this is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you so much for tuning in the broadcast. And I'll talk to you later.